Once upon a time, a billion dollars seemed like fiction. Today, it seems as though more and more individuals and corporations are watching that extra digit added to their net worth. There are now hundreds of companies that have found themselves worth billions of dollars in an extremely short period of time. Let's take a look. You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. Today we're going to look at the world's biggest unicorns. I think it's important to see all of these massive corporations look at what they're doing right, look at what they're doing wrong, and see how the world perceives them. Are they being you know, there with open arms? Are they rejecting them? What's happening in the news? What's happening with their numbers? We gotta get a sense of what's happening here. You can see a company like Uber, for instance, had just done their IPO and it didn't go so well on the first day. That company is in this list here. This article was written just prior to the IPO, so it's including it in this case. Now, I wanted to cover first what a unicorn is. It was only six years ago that venture capitalist Alien Lee coined the term, quote, unicorn to describe any privately held startup worth $1 billion or more. So we're not talking about those uh, Apple, Amazon, and so on. We're looking at the privately held corporations specifically. At the time, such valuations were so rare they deserved a special name, but since then, it's fair to say that the landscape has shifted dramatically. The startup boom intensified, capital flowed into private companies at an unprecedented pace. Many people right now are calling this the tech bubble 2.0 because you could see how many of these companies are in fact headed towards their IPO at these extreme valuations. In recent times, unicorns have multiplied like rabbits and investors have propped up the combined value the world's 326 unicorns to the tune of 1.1 trillion dollars. The unicorn landscape. Take a look at the top 10 unicorns by valuation. I would stress the fact that there are more than 119 new companies joining the global unicorn club since last year. Think about that for a second. In one year, we had 119 being added. So that means just in this short period of time, we have seen an increase that has never been seen before. Number one, ByteDance. Underneath that, we have Uber at 72 billion. You got DD, WeWork, Jewel Labs, Airbnb, Stripe, SpaceX, Epic Games, and Grab. The lowest one on this list is worth $14 billion. My goodness, we are talking about extreme valuations in this case. I wanted to point out something right here. IPOs, it is estimated that over 100 unicorns will IPO in 2019, including Uber and Airbnb, so far Lyft and Pinterest, have already hit the public market. So obviously this was written just prior to Uber actually having their IPO. It didn't work out so well. But imagine that a hundred of them that are worth a billion or more. I understand we're not living in 1990 anymore and a billion dollars isn't what it used to be. But it's still a billion dollars. My goodness, the fact that these companies come out of nowhere, they have an application that has apparently very little in terms of its economic benefits at at least from the outside world, obviously a company like Facebook or Instagram, you see pictures and you see individuals scrolling and you know little kitten videos, but there's much more going on. There's data that is very important to those marketers and others that are reading that information and trying to really pay a lot of money for it. And they do so because they can sell products, they can sell services, they can understand their customers better as a result. Together, the top 10 unicorns are worth a total of $388 billion. I mean, it's crazy to see how far these have come in a short period of time. Now, they break this down by the different countries and you could see how it is all laid out here. United States, 156, China, 94. Okay, so it breaks it down further. You can see all the different types here. We have e-commerce, we have internet software services, socials, and all of these. I'm not going to get into all of them, but I do think it's important if you want to look at that for yourself. And and then you can see the different valuations breaking it down in this way. Okay, so on the left hand side, seven unicorns including Uber, WeWork, Airbnb, and ByteDance account for almost 30% of all of the value. So these are big companies, there is no doubt. Now, I can tell you right now, even though Uber on their first day they did their IPO, didn't look so good, it's probably the case where down the road, depending on what happens with the stock market, we could see that this company is 
is worth much more. But in the short period of time, there has to be the market, you know, really addressing is this company worth what we IPO'd at? And that's ultimately going to take some time. I'm interested to see all of these different unicorn companies and what they do. When Facebook was coming out initially, many people didn't really understand how kitten videos and, you know, sending messages to people you knew from, you know, 20 years ago is really valuable. How can this be a billion dollar company? But now as their different platforms have, you know, Facebook ads and things have been really taking off. I mean, we're talking about billions of dollars a year in revenue for these companies. This has been an obvious thing that is very long term. That's what happens. Initially, let's get the people hooked and then we're going to start serving them advertisements. They're going to have news on here, but all of this is revenue for these different companies. Keep them on the website and we can serve them ads while they're here, while they're looking at their kittens. They can see advertisements. We get paid for it and so on. So I do believe that each company has a different solution. They have different ideas, but ultimately revenue generation, data control, these are all part of these big establishments and what they plan on doing for the near future. That's all for this video. If you found it informative, please give me a thumbs up. When you give me a like on this video, you're supporting me, you're supporting this channel. So I do appreciate that. If you want the financial education that is not taught to you in school, if you want to learn everything that you should have learned in school, where this is basically not taught whatsoever, all you're going to do is read two books and you got this figured out. That's it. So if you want to check it out, link is in the description. If you want the audiobook, it's available at themoneygps.com. If you want to find out the details of Uber's IPO, I just did a video on it, so click on it and I will see you there.